I'm Benny Knopf, sound editor and re-recording mixer for Noisy Post. Today we'll be talking sound tips for you video editors. Tip number one is to keep your audio tracks organized. A lot of you guys are using DaVinci and Premiere out there and it's easy to do things like rename your tracks. There's an issue with AAF files. When I import them into Pro Tools, sometimes the tracks are out of order. It's important to make sure you put a track number before the name of every track. When naming your tracks, make sure you start with a number, 01 boom, 02 boom two, because when I import the AAF, it keeps things more organized. It's important in software like Premiere to select what kind of track type it is, whether it's mono, stereo, 5.1. I would suggest starting with a clean slate and importing say eight tracks, if you're using an eight track recorder, mono, eight mono tracks. So that when you put your dialogue in there, it's all perfect. It might not make much of a difference for you when you're working, but it makes a big difference with your track organization when you're sending me an AAF. You obviously then might need to add stereo tracks for music or stereo tracks for your ambiences or other sound effects you might get from other libraries but it's just key to make sure whatever the track is, if it's mono dialogue, make sure it's a mono track. My other thought is to keep your tracks consistent. It's a lot easier for you to keep your tracks organized, put the right clips in the right track now that you've labeled them, because you know what audio you have. Generally, you'll have a director right there with you to keep it organized if you're not the director editor. It's a lot easier for you to do it on your end than it is for me to go through and solo and listen to every track and then reorganize it on my end. AAFs can get a bit messy if you don't have it organized from the start. Tip number two is have a two pop. Do you like what I did there? One at the start and one at the end of your film. So at 58 seconds and 59 seconds, you have a blip blip tone with a white full screen flash. It helps getting sync. So once I get all the files on my end, I know that from start to finish, the film is in sync. It's really, really important for say a composer as well for them to double check. It means we all know that everything's gonna be in sync. The other thing is to work from one hour. So in your time code, you start your film at one hour because that gives you that 0058, 0059, bleep bleep, and then your picture starts right on one. And then wait until after your credits and you have black screen. And obviously if your music's faded out after that, boop, boop, another two pop. Can't even do the sound. Boop, boop, bleep, bleep. Anyway, you get the idea. Tip number three is don't print any audio effects to your audio clips. Make sure when you send your audio to a sound editor and re-recording mixer, it's raw. Sometimes you might do a test screening for producers or just general audience to just see how the film's going. And you might want some effects just to give them the, the sense that they're there. And that's okay, but just make sure you're putting those plugins on the tracks and not printing anything on the effects themselves. And then we'll all be happy. Whatever you do, just make sure you reverse it. Tip number four is to export your AAF correctly. It's best if you consult your sound editor and your sound recordist to find out what settings they have used and are going to use. Generally, you'll use a sample rate of 48K. It depends on the sound recordist. They might have recorded at 96K, but a general rule is DVD audio is 48K. So start there. The other thing is you wanna be set at 24-bit, not 16-bit. We wanna get the best quality audio we can and most sound editors will be working at 24-bit. One thing you might wanna to do to reduce your AAF file size is add handles. Just be careful though, if you're gonna add handles, make sure you have a minimum of say 200 to 400 frames. It just gives us lots of extra audio and wiggle room if we need when we're editing. Tip number five, when you're delivering that AAF is to get all the raw audio from the sound recorders and put it on that hard drive as well. It's so important that we have that flexibility that if there was a line of dialogue that we need to replace or we're looking for a sound effect that might have been recorded on set, that that is there on the hard drive. Or sometimes things go wrong with the AAF, files can get corrupt, or we want to replace certain files with the original, we have those files there on the hard drive. We're all here to get the best result we can and I appreciate you video editors taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, any tips for me, please write them in the comments. I'm always going to write back and also subscribe like and share this video with your peers and friends and colleagues. Thanks so much for joining me.